Hello, welcome to another episode of a Pajama Predictions. It's your girl Bunny here. Welcome to my sacred space of love and healing. Okay, <clears throat> so for those of you that are new here and you don't know what Pajama Predictions is, Pajama Predictions is where we are in our pajamas. Your girl is in hers. Your girl Bunny's in hers. All right. Um, I don't normally wear earrings to bed, but I just have them on for aesthetic right now, <laughs> honestly. It was funny because I was filming a video for Aries, and then I, one of my kids was supposed to be in bed, and then came out here and was, you know, doing the kid thing, like, oh, I, I need milk, I need dish, I need that. And so I went, and I already had my bracelets on because I hadn't taken them off yet. And um, I went and I put some earrings on and I'm like, oh, and I knew I was going to film pajama predictions, but no, I do not sleep in earrings. I sleep in a t-shirt and chonies. So for those of you that don't know, chonies <laughs> is underwear in Spanish. I got to turn my light on. on. Um, chonies is underwear in Spanish. Um, or yeah. Yes. So. I got off track. For those of you that are new here, pajama predictions is where we get into our pajamas. I speak in a very calm, soothing voice while I try to. <laughs> it's almost like a little bit ASMR-ish tarot where I give you a prediction, a pajama prediction, right? It's where I got the name, for your day. So it lets you know what's coming up the next day or you know the day after, energy is fluid. So I don't know if it's going to be for tomorrow or, you know, next week or whenever, but I give you a prediction and we sit here together doing this sort of bedtime wind down with tarot. Okay. So welcome to Pajama Predictions and to my old subscribers. Okay, you're not old, but you are, you know, those of you who have been with me from the jump. Thank you for being here. I appreciate every single one of you. I love all of you. All right, let's dive in. This is going to be a very short one because it's almost 3 a.m. And I have to be up at 7, 7 30-ish. I am in Lansing right now. I am at my mom's house. She is having surgery tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. to have a kidney stone removed. And so I am here with her. I am going to be helping her and taking care of her after her surgery. And I wanna be there tomorrow with her at the hospital. So this is gonna be a quick, short reading, but your girl Bunny is always working. All right, so please thumbs up the video, subscribe, it's completely free. Your girl works so hard for y'all. I appreciate all of you so much. Give me a tip. I have like two chip jars down there, okay? <laughs> I appreciate all of it. All right. Single mom of three kids here, okay? Let's just, just throwing that out there. Just, <laughs> all right, so let's go. Let's, let's dive in. Let's see what we got. I want to start out, what deck do we want to start out with? I want to start out with the sacred destiny oracle. Yeah, all right. Clear this energy because I read for Aries. Thank you for allowing me to be clear this channel for source messages. I already cleansed myself, cleansed this space, and invited Archangel Michael into our space. Let's make this reading short, sweet, accurate, and quick. Spirit guides, here we go. Pleasure. It's a pleasure principle. Uh, uh. Hot. Ooh. Voyage. Ooh. Some of you are going to be traveling and there's going to be so much pleasure there. I'm traveling. I'm here. I'm traveling. But with that traveling comes pleasure. Ooh. He's got a hot hero, all of a sudden, y'all. What type of pleasure? I don't know. Ooh, the pleasure of action. Take it how it resonates. Look at all that water. 
Some of y'all are gonna be watery, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Can't make it up. Look. Pleasure. If you are able to have babies, take some precautions because there is a whale, there's a baby. It's a baby whale. Y'all don't wanna end up with a baby whale. Y'all don't wanna end up like a whale with a baby. Just saying that there's a lot of pleasure and action and a lot of flowing, flow, flowing, flowing juices. Just saying, just saying, I'm just saying. We got pleasure, it's a full moon. I'm done, I'm done with that deck. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna dive right into these message of love. And, and see what we got with because that pleasure card came up here. I want to see what's up. Let's let's do it. Okay, we got a new reading. Pajama predictions spirit guys. So let's rock it out. I haven't flipped the card yet, so I don't know what it says. I'm not I'm not trying to hear it. Let's do three. Ooh, we look at that. We'll always come back to each other. Look at that. I told you. Someone wants to come back. Someone wants to come back to that flood. Just saying. Forgiveness, I'm struggling to get over the past. Someone's stuck in their head about something. Look, it could have to do with religion. It could have to do with something they experienced in religion. Um, you know, it could have been, you know, in, in I hate to say it, but in, in religions like this, you know, sometimes there's sexual abuse, there's things like that. I know, it happens. It does. I mean, let's let's talk about it. Maybe there was something like that. Somebody's struggling to get over something that happened to them. But they trust you. And it sounds weird. This is going to sound weird, but like they trust you with their sexuality, right? Maybe in the past they've been abused, right? They could have been abused sexually or something like that. But and it feels like like you know it feels like in the past they didn't want to be sexual with people they wanted to refrain from even that type of energy right with other people but with you there's like it feels like they trust you with their sexuality like they trust you they feel safe with you that's what i'm looking for they feel safe with you that's why they keep coming back to you, right? Traveling back to you, right? New chapter, I'm trying to move on. So see, they're struggling to move on from the past, but they're trying to move on from it because they want this new chapter with you. Can't make it up, you cannot make it up. Let's pull some romance angels cards. It's two, three, four on my clock. Steps in the right direction going upstairs two three four five six seven keep going right steps in the right direction spirit saying we're on the right path can't make it up let's get two of these cards please spirit two let's do two Wow, this card keeps coming out over and over again in each reading I've been doing recently for a lot of the collective. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Put it where it fits in, right? Work on this relationship that you have right now or the one that you thought you needed to give up on because there's a lot of passion involved. Look at that. 
told you they trust you. They've never felt this type of physical sensation of feeling safe, of being able to let their passion out, of not being afraid to be sexual, right? Allow your heart and your soul to sing with joy. I don't know whose stories this is, but that's what's coming out. You know that song that goes, um, I don't, I don't know who sings it, but it says it goes something like, "Own me, own me, you rattle my bones." You make my heart beat faster. I, I don't mm, I don't know who sings it, but I'm hearing it. So that's for someone. I can't think of any of the lyrics. That's the only thing I can think of, dude. Why am I shuffling this deck? I don't I don't want that deck, do I know? I want Did I pull from the tarot deck? I don't think did I? Not sure. I did already, right? Yeah. We started with the Sacred Oracle, then moved on to the Tarot, right? Did we? I don't know. I swear I thought we did. I don't know. Oh, the Wish Fulfillment card, which is coming true. Following your heart. Wow, being on the right path. See, I said we were. Two more cards, please. I swear, two. I think my kids just got up again. I swear to God, they're going to be so tired tomorrow. If they end up going, wow, told you. They want a fresh start with you. So there's been a reoccurring theme of couples starting fresh. A leap of faith, full energy, and new beginnings. The last reading I just did, same thing came out. It came out for Aries. We have Nine of Raphael, which is Nine of Cups, Wish Fulfillment, Queen of Cups. Look at that. Following your heart, a love of home and family. This person wants a family with you. Trustworthy psychic information. So like I said, this is trusting that we're on the right path. Steps in the right direction. Remember I just said that, two, three, four. We have a leap of faith, which is the full energy. Someone wants to take that leap of faith with you. I told you, they feel safe with you. You bring out the sexual side, which they don't have with anyone else. I said it. Believe in yourself. Listen to your heart. Do what gives you joy. You bring this person joy. Okay? And they bring you joy. They feel balanced with you. Two of Ariel's balance. This is also about doing multiple things at once, multiple projects, um, enjoying what you do, right? Um, I keep hearing this song lately. Um, it goes something like, hey, I'm on vacation every single day because I love my occupation. <laughs> and I thought it was so funny when I heard it because I'm like, that's me. Like, I love my job. And I feel like I'm on vacation every day. It says making work fun, right? So when they're with you, the relationship doesn't feel like work. They've never had that before. They've never had a relationship that was so easy where it's like, wow, like this just flows. The sexuality flows. The love just flows. The fun just flows. They're used to like karmic partners where like they're fighting every day. They're at each other's throats. You know, it's not pleasant. The woman's always screaming. The man's always yelling. Like, you know what I'm saying? This feels different for them because they've never had anything like this, right? All right, so I'm going to get a numerology card, and we'll end with a tarot card for the outcome. We're going to be done. All right, what else does this person need to know? Whoever story this is. Whoa. Wow, look. Follow your dreams and creativity. So, I mean, it's self-explanatory. We're all following our dreams, right? We all have dreams. We all have things that we want to achieve. Work at them. Do them. Start now. Start right now. What's holding you back? Oh, I don't have I don't have 
I don't have the perfect outfit. I don't have the perfect hair. I don't have that. I'm in my freaking pajamas, guys. <laughs> I mean, there's never going to be a perfect situation, a perfect time, the perfect hair, the perfect body, whatever. Start now. Those that love you will feel your message and your intent and your vibe. And those that are on the same vibrational frequency as you are going to feel your intention. I'm going to say that one more time. They will feel your intention and they will feel that you are authentic and they will feel your love and they will feel whatever it is that you're trying to do and they will be right there, right next to you, following you, listening to you, sitting with you, enjoying, you know, whatever it is that you're doing, right? They'll be right there with you. Someone needs to hear your message or someone needs to buy your artwork or someone needs your insurance quote. I mean, whatever it is that you do, do it. Whatever dream you want to achieve, pursue it. Start right now. I have made a vow to myself to upload a video every single day. I did that yesterday. And so now, from now on, you will see a video uploaded every day. I will hold myself accountable. Creativity. Number three, the Ascended Masters are with you. Number three is an Ascended Master number. The Ascended Masters are with you while you're creating. What are you afraid of? You are divinely guided by your spirit guides, your guardian angels, God, source. And again, we have number eight and five added up. What is it? It's 13. Three and one. Again, four. Angels. Number of angels. All right, let's get an outcome card and we're going to be done. What is the outcome for this connection, for this story? You know, it's never the end of the story, but we can, we can take a peek into what's next for you, right? Sure. What do we got? Let's get an outcome card for this story. Woo! An offer of love with someone who's husband material or wifey material. Put your situation where you fit in. King of Cups is a great, a great, a great offer of love. It is someone who is committed, honest, kind. This is known as the perfect husband card. Someone who's emotionally intelligent. Someone who's a great communicator, a great listener, a great father, a great husband, right? If if you're a, if you're a masculine, this would be someone who's a nurturing wife, wifey material, right? She's wifey material. She's a great mother. She's a nurturing person. She's honest. She's loyal. She's dependable. She's reliable. She's not a hoe. She's not going to cheat on you. She would be a great mother, a great lover, a great listener, someone who's going to support you emotionally. <sighs> All right, I think we're done here. Thanks for being here with me. Um, if you like the reading, please like the video, subscribe. It's completely free to you guys, and it helps my channel. It really helps my channel grow, and that's this is my goal, guys. YouTube is my dream. I love YouTube. I love YouTube. YouTube, I love you. I, I love tarot. This is my dream. This is part of my dream. I've always wanted to be a tarot reader on YouTube. This has been my dream. So help me achieve my dream, guys. Give me tips. Like, subscribe. It's completely free. Right now, this is the only job I'm doing, okay? Um, and like I said, subscribing, liking, it's free. Sharing's free. It lets the algorithm know that you like me. Hit the notification button so you don't miss a video. That way you guys know when I'm uploading because a lot of people have been saying, oh, I didn't even know you uploaded videos. Like they're, you know, they, they go and they're like, oh my gosh, there's like so many videos I've missed a whole month. You have to turn on the notifications in your phone. You can go to your apps like and click where it says notifications on or you can do it on YouTube. I'm, I'm not sure. Everyone's different. 
the, the Androids, iPhones, smartphones, they're all different. So, but there's a way to do it. Um, if you want to book a reading with me, um, everything's in my description box below my video in the milkshake, milkshake, I almost said milkshake, milkshake link. I love you guys. Bye.